So I, I actually allowed more time to get out here today, but I was super early. So I actually just went down to the river and just made a few phone calls. But Fig Tree Pocket 10 years ago used to be quite a way out of the city. But now with all the tunnels and that, I mean, I came from New Farm to here in about just under 15 minutes. Absolutely. Do you find that there's a changing demographic in the area? Very much so. I've been working around this inner western suburbs and Fig Tree Pocket for probably close to 10 years now. There's a lot of families moving out here. You've got some of the best schools in Brisbane within walking distance, very close amenities. You're 12 kilometers out of the CBD, easy transport, mm. you know, easy to get down to the coast, up the coast and to the city. This proximity and then to have this vista where you've got the house plus greenery plus river plus greenery. I mean, it's a pretty unique spot in Brisbane, isn't it? It is. It is a very unique spot. And your company is called Tabrizi Homes, but this house is actually built by your company, but it wasn't built as a project home, was it? It was actually built for some clients of yours. No, originally the house was actually designed for uh, very particular clients, my parents. Essentially, this is a dream home, isn't it, for them? It is not the easiest people. They had very specific needs and requirements for the design. Then it changed a lot, so that we thought we were there, they add more, and, and the end result turned out to be a pretty amazing house. The house sits so high on the block and I mean rivers normally give you that sense of expansion and sense of breadth and width but here because you've got all this greenery on the other side when you're sitting in the house looking out you just don't have any neighbours. We were very particular about how the house interacts with the river so we wanted to be able to really have that as our focal point through as many spaces as possible. And then you come up and then you've got this guest retreat because it's got its own obviously robe and seating area and ensuite which then opens onto another living area. In total there's, there's about three living areas plus a study isn't there? Correct. There is three living spaces so um, there was thought and consideration given to the various family structures that would be able to comfortably live in the house. You've got the ground floor guest bedroom with its own sort of ensuite and sitting area. Which is what most people look for because if you're going to have guests you don't really want your guests to be right beside your master. They need to have the amenity, a bit of separation, a bit of space, the bathrooms, en suites, the room configurations. I mean, that tends to lend towards not just children, but as people grow, they can grow into this house as well. As the family grows and involves, their needs will change. So it's always important to try to design a house that thinks ahead and accommodates those needs. Kitchen bench top, I mean, it's enormous. It's a pretty impressive piece of stone, uh, but the kitchen's always a focal point whenever True. in every home you're entertaining or having family around, so it was quite important to capture that. Well, the proximity you, to the wine cellar is also important to the kitchen, isn't it? Uh, absolutely. Social interaction. Proximity of wine cellar is always important. <laughs> Who wants to go downstairs when you're halfway through a dinner party? That's right, that's right. We were really pleased with the way the floor plan and layout of the house has um, turned out. A credit to the architect and the team at Tabrizi. I can't take all the credit for that. Oh, we can try. I will. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>